Hi there, I'm Robin. When it comes to the turbo replacement process, there are many useful tips, tutorials, and complete guides on how to perform the fitting properly the first time. Regardless of the approach you choose to follow, there's one thing to be crucial about in the process. There must be a troubleshooting of the turbocharged system and an understanding of why the previous turbo has failed. Join me for a short review of the recommended troubleshooting steps in the turbocharger replacement. Now in my previous videos, we've reviewed some of the most common turbo failures, including their symptoms and root causes. Now we will review the major spots for the necessary diagnostics of the vehicle. In further videos of this series, I'll be happy to share some hands-on tips on how to perform some of the troubleshooting in a simple yet inexpensive way. Now the turbo is a very sophisticated component. It works across multiple systems in the vehicle, which means its operation relies on many factors. When the turbo malfunctions, you really need to take a helicopter perspective. You shouldn't see the turbo as the only culprit. Potentially, other systems are at fault, too. Turbo failures are often provoked by improper working conditions, and these are caused by other components or system failures. Before installing a new turbo, you have to make sure that the root cause of the failure was recognized and eliminated. That's what we call proper troubleshooting. Regardless of your engine type and regardless of the turbo design applied, whether it's wastegate or variable flow, there are several things in common for all that must be taken into a diagnosed consideration. Let's review them briefly. Lubrication. The turbocharger is lubricated by the engine oil. You have to make sure the engine lubrication system is in a vital condition and the oil gets distributed freely across all the engine components, specifically to and from the turbo. Also, that the proper oil type and volume is applied for the engine. Air intake system. Here, cleanliness is the key word. The air intake filter must be clean, and the same applies for the air filter box and related air ducts leading to the turbo. Plus, the condition of the rubber hoses and their clamps must be checked, and they have to be free of any cracks, porosity, or leaks. Charge air distribution. This part includes a complete check of the air path from the turbocharger to the engine. Here, the flowing charged air is pressurized. The system leaks or inner clogs are the major issues provoking the turbo failures. Make sure you thoroughly check all piping, including couplings, as well as the intercooler and the engine inlet manifold, with all devices being applied there. For example, throttle body, EGR, etc. They all must be free of cracks, leaks, or inner restrictions. Additionally, the intercooler surface should be inspected and no soiling or fin deterioration should be present here. Engine crankcase ventilation. Now, this may not seem important, but it's actually critical for the turbo to function properly. This seemingly unimportant engine equipment has a tremendous importance for the turbo vitality. Depending on the application, it might just be a PVC valve or an assembly including oil separation device. By failures, the engine burns oil and the excessive pressures inside the crankcase hinder proper oil flow and return from the turbo. Exhaust system. Here, the entire exhaust path must be examined. This includes the exhaust manifold that often cracks or accumulates some hardened soot particles. They may destroy the fragile turbine wheel. On the other side of the turbo, the exhaust line and its components failures may cause the back pressure to raise abnormally, making the thrust pressure affect the turbo. It's recommended to conduct a thorough check to investigate for inner restrictions of the applied catalytic converter or DPF filter and mufflers. If you make sure that all the above are inspected and the systems are free of failures, you're good to go with the new turbocharger fitting. I'm Robin. Thanks for letting me show you what's under the hood. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And if there's something specific that you want me to do a video on in the future, don't forget to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.